The intermediate value theorem says that if f is continuous on a closed interval from a to b, and c is any number between the function value at a and the function value at b inclusive, then there is at least one number, x, in the closed interval such that f of x is equal to c. Now, IVT, the intermediate value theorem, is the most no-duh theorem of all time. What it's basically saying is, we have some a on the left, the function value at a, we have some b on the right with a function value at b. Now we're going to create some continuous function. And remember that continuous means that when you draw it, you don't pick up your pencil. So what this is saying is, is it possible to go from f of a to f of b without picking up your pencil, without going through the x-axis? That's one such example. Here we're going to let c, the value between f of a and f of b, equal 0. So here's c equals 0 right here on the x-axis. The question is, can you draw a line from f of a to f of b without picking up your pencil that doesn't go through c equals 0? The answer is no. You learned this when you were 5 years old and you did connect the dots. If you create any continuous function from a to b, it has to go through every single function value from f of a to f of b. So we made the example c equals 0 because a line is a very visual thing, but c could have been 1, 2, 3, 4. C could be any number in between f of a and f of b. The fact is that if you draw a continuous function from f of a to f of b, it has to hit every single function value in between. And that includes every x value as well. So not only every x value, but also every function value from f of a to f of b. Let's do an example for how we would use IVT in a problem. Does there have to be a value of x on the interval from 1 through 4 for which x squared is equal to 3? Now consider f of x equals x squared on the interval from 1 to 4. Is x squared continuous on that interval? Yes. Therefore, we are allowed to use the intermediate value theorem. The reason for this is that in order to be able to invoke the intermediate value theorem, f must be continuous on the closed interval from a to b. So whenever using IVT, this is the first thing that must be stated. f is continuous from a to b. So x squared is continuous from 1 to 4. Therefore, we can use IVT. And the way that we would use it is as such. Since x squared is continuous for all values on the interval from 1 to 4, we can invoke the intermediate value theorem, which states that there must be some x value for which f of x equals x squared equals 3. So the answer is yes. There does have to be a value for which x squared equals 3. And of course, to verify this, all we have to do is just set x squared equal to 3. And of course, we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Well, the positive square root of 3 is in between 1 and 4. Therefore, there does have to be an x value from 1 to 4. In this case, it's root 3 such that x squared equals 3. So remember, we're looking for an x value that's in the interval for which x squared is equal to 3. And root 3 is, in fact, in that interval. So we have checked this, but we didn't have to do that because the intermediate value theorem says that this is always going to be true.